Okay, as we get into acids and bases, there's just a quick review on some nomenclature. So I'm not going to spend time going over it, but you can see the notes that were written down here. Um, make sure that you know how to write the compound names and the formulas for acids. And then also we had uh, a quick little review on what makes an acid strong or weak. And so you might want to refresh your memory on that. Um, a little bit newer would be the fact about bases. We said that hydroxides that combine with group 1 metals are going to be strong, as are those that combine with uh, strontium and barium. They're strong. And what the reason we care is that if, if an acid or a base is strong, then that means it's going to dissociate or ionize completely when in solution. So it's going to break apart into its ions, whereas weak acids and weak bases will not do that. And one way that we can really illustrate that is in a reaction. If you see something like this for a strong acid, you usually just see a one-sided arrow, meaning it's breaking apart completely, whereas in a weak acid, you would get the reversible arrow. It can work in both directions, and it's a very small percentage, typically less than 5% that breaks apart into its ions, ionizes, or dissociates.